My name is Dave D. Davidson, and you're listening to The Snowplow Show, home of the greatest prank calls ever created by humankind. Motherfucker. I'm going to kill you. 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 This is under the ground liver. I'm going to kill you. Why would I record this? It's none of your business. Is that because it's imaginary? Is this a joke? It's none of your business. Well, that's not nice. You did it to my mom. You are not a problem. My life is so very reasonable. I'm known as a mole man. There's lots of us around the country. Hey there, everybody. This is Snowplow Show, episode 742. It's brought to you by Rev, Brennan, Omni, Gobi, and Plaz. Those are five of the supporters over at patreon.com slash phone losers. That intro song was by Joe DeVita. Thank you, Joe DeVita, for all the intro songs. And by the way, I know I have some more intro songs in my email. As usual, I've fallen behind on my email again. So I'll get to those other intro songs. I'm not talking to Joe DeVita. I'm talking to other people that have sent in intro songs. Thank you, everybody, for making so much music for this show. I did a hobo sode on Monday, if you missed that. So far, that's the only hobo sode this week. And I did a bunch of uh, requests from the request folder. Please listen to that. I also did a Mr. Dobelina. I don't think I've mentioned it on the show yet, but that was over a week ago. There's a brand new Mr. Dobelina's World of Prank Calls out there over at worldofprankcalls.com. And last night, I was on Devin's show, I think for most of the second half of the show. And we had a lot of fun. We made a lot of pranks. And I think she already put that show up, so I'm going to put a link to that and to the World of Prank Calls, and I guess that's it. Oh, and speaking of World of Prank Calls, I set up a new page on there for merchandise, you know, t-shirts and stuff like that. But the only section I worked on was Nick Caesars. So I tried to find all the best PLA art stuff in there, the best, you know, snowplow show type images. And it looks like I got about 18 of them in there. A bunch of weird, scary looking phones and stuff. And the one that I used on the last show as show art, I actually bought that one, the beer telephone thing. I'm pretty sure he made that for Matt Hillock, but I'm taking it for myself. But what I'm saying is if you like the show art today, you know what? I'm going to pick one of these and make that the show art. Then you should go to uh, worldofprankcalls.com slash store and buy some shirts of Nick Caesars. There's a bunch of shirts on here. There's also shirts on here from Dwight the Janitor and King Richard and Matt Hillock and then the official PLA stores in there too. But the really important stuff is the Nick Caesar art. So look at these designs, bask in their amazingness, and maybe buy a shirt if you want one. Hello. Hi, Lori. Yes. Hey, it's uh, Steve Day with the City of... Yes. I was calling to let you know we're going to be out there tomorrow to uh, install those concrete footings in front of your house for the 5G boxes. Uh, we, were, we were supposed to be there today. Uh, that's what the letter said that we sent to you. But it's actually going to be uh, tomorrow. What's that? We never got a letter. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're just going to be putting some, some 5G boxes out there, you know, on the strip of grass in front of your house. Oh, uh, where at in front of our house? Uh, big silver boxes uh, on either side of your driveway. So there'll be three in the large part and one in the small part by the mailboxes. It's for 5G. Okay. You're going to have the best 5G in the neighborhood. Okay, so it's not on our property then? Uh, well, it's in the yard. It's in the grass. And we don't get a say-so about this? The house, we're going to have an ugly box in our yard? Well, they're not ugly. They're silver. They're futuristic looking. Like all four of them are silver. All four so, lar- large boxes are silver. Why was this never told to us oh i'm telling you right now uh they were supposed to be there today we we sent you a letter about it we have never heard one word about this okay well now you have because i'm calling you up and letting you know uh it looks like you've got some decorative bricks along the side of your driveway out there by the easement uh our driveway yeah yeah well you've got that that weird (laughs) decorative stuff uh, along the side of the driveway those diagonal bricks 
Okay. But yeah, we just got to take those out. Just, just on the easement part, out by the street. So which side of the driveway is it going to go on? Uh, both. Directly in front of our house or over by our mailbox? Both. Uh, one by the mailboxes and three directly in front of the house. It'll be I'm going to let you talk to my husband It'll about be like this. a big this silver a shiny thing. wall. Hello. Hello. Uh, it's Steve Dave from the city. Okay. I was just letting letting you both know uh, the trucks are going to be there tomorrow from the city. They're going to be pouring the concrete footings. And then uh, Verizon's going to be there this weekend to install the 5G boxes in front of your house. Uh, You're at the house. And that wife of yours, she doesn't seem to understand technology, so... Just let okay, her know there are no, silver no, no, boxes. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on now. Don't be, don't be insulting my wife. Oh, okay? I wasn't insulting that no. wife of yours. I was just saying she doesn't seem to understand. You know that the whole world needs five G. We got to put these boxes somewhere. Okay, but now where they will be put? We figure in front of our house. Uh, yeah. you know she could have just told you all this. I explained this to her like three times. There's gonna well, be. F- Four of them in front of your house. Four large silver boxes. In front of my house? Yeah, with uh, built-in antennas. You won't even see the antennas. It's just silver boxes. But they got antennas inside. Okay, so so why wasn't we notified of this? Oh, we sent a letter. Did that wife of yours throw it away? She probably thought it was junk mail. You know, I'm going to tell you what, dude. What is your name, by the way? Uh, uh, Steve Dave. Who are who? What is it? Steve Dave from the city. Okay. So, first off, do you have a supervisor? Because the way that you are displaying yourself and speaking is very unprofessional. Oh, I'm sorry. That wife of yours just got me all riled up. You know what? I'm going to tell you what. The next time you say that wife of yours, all right? That's why I have a problem. You just got me speak to your supervisor, please. Okay. Uh, I can get her... uh... Looks like she's not on the phone. Let, let me uh, motion her to pick up the phone. Can you hold on one minute, please? I sure can. I got a... What's that? I sure can. I can hold on. Okay. Uh, just a minute. Just got to put you on hold and transfer you over. Okay. Hello, this is Carol. Yes, yes Carol. Uh, my name is Louis. And, and I was speaking with, I think his name was Steve Dave. Oh, yeah, Steve Dave. He's he's one of the office yeah. workers here. Yes. Uh, and, and first off, he, he spoke with my wife, and he told us that uh, we're getting some boxes put into our, uh, our, our, we'll take out some of our driveway. Oh, the uh, silver boxes, the, right, for the 5G? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, they're going to do some uh, digging. They're going to put some concrete footings down tomorrow. And you're going to take out some of my decorative sidewalk? Yeah, yeah, just uh, out there by the easement. So there's going to be th- okay, yeah. three silver boxes in front of your house and one over there by the mailboxes. Okay, and, and now let me ask you this question. With antennas so in them. That was, okay, well, I, I get that, ma'am. I get that. But So what happens so my decorative, my decorative sidewalk goes away? Am I correct? Well, uh, you, you'll still have the decorative sidewalk up there by the driveway with all that weird diagonal stuff that's kind of oh, mi- mismatched mean, that, with, with the regular driveway but, and the sidewalk. Okay, well, and, and, I, and I get that, but that's that's something that was pretty special for for, for my home. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to take that out. We'll, we'll leave the bricks for you, though, if you want to put them up in some other... Spot in your no, yard? No, but, but, okay, well, I, 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 I understand that, that that's going to be done. It, 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 now, is that going to be the only, only yard that's going to be done in? Oh, yeah, yeah, on, on this street, yeah. We can put all four right in front of your house. That way we don't have to spread them out. Well, well so I guess my question is, why don't you spread them out instead of putting four eye stores in front of my house? I don't know. I don't understand the technology. This is all new stuff. It's 5G. Well, Apparently, it crashes airplanes. Well, and exactly. And, and, but it, so you can supervise, am I correct, of, of Steve Day? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is uh, Carol so, Gersperms. 
So he was very, very rude. Uh, he he is. I mean, he has got me to he has got me to the point that I just really want to come to where you're at and 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 meet him face to face. He, I mean, he is. You know, he has said that wife of yours, that wife of yours. She got me all riled up and all this. Well, you know what? What did she do? We, we didn't. <laughs> man, we we haven't. I mean, we haven't got any notification of this at all. And I mean, now this is just kind of sprung on us. Yeah, they, they were supposed like, to come today and, and pour those concrete footings, but uh, I guess uh, they got tied up at their other location, and they're going to be there tomorrow morning, probably around nine, uh, with uh, all the trucks. So, 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 ma'am, is, is there any compensation for, for this for us? Oh no, no. But you're going to have the best uh, 5G internet probably in the whole neighborhood. Like your your internet's oh, gonna be so fast. Oh, but but man, I, I just I as long you're, as you're with Boost Mobile, because uh, you know it's it's ex exclusive to Boost Mobile in this neighborhood. We signed a deal, so if you okay, have Boost so, Mobile, you're gonna have blazing fast internet. Ma'am, I don't care about internet. I don't care about any of that stuff. What I care about is a couple of things. Number one is we got no notice of this at all. Well, they sent you a letter. Uh, maybe that wife of yours threw it away. You know what, ma'am? I'm going to tell you what. That wife of yours, if I hear that one more goddamn time, I'm going to come to where you're at, and I'm going to deal with both of you guys. Well, what does that mean? You're going to fight us? You can't fight us. That's illegal. You know what, ma'am? Don't, don't threaten tell you me. What. I'm, you know what? I'm not going to threaten you, but I'm going to tell you what. When you guys come tomorrow, you will have a little bit of a hard time. Oh, I don't think so. There's, there's going to be uh, three different trucks. There's going to be cement trucks and dump trucks. So like a, what, a, company, a, what company are you from? A crew of 17, they outnumber you. Ma'am, what company are you from? I'm, I'm with the city. Okay, so obviously you have a supervisor also, right? Well, yeah, but nobody's here today. I, I'm, I'm the lead supervisor here in this office, here in the comptroller's oh, office. Let me ask you. In, in what office? The comptroller's office. The comptroller's office? Yeah. You know what? There's a note here on, on uh, uh, your order here. It says you have mismatched wattages in your light bulbs on either side of your garage. It says there's a 100-watt bulb in the left side and a 60-watt bulb in the right side. Do you have any idea what that does to property values, sir? Ma'am, I... Oh, you kind of throw me off here because, you know. Well, I, I guess they worth. just wrote that down when they were making the assessment to put it all in your yard. I, so, so you will take some of my acres or my some of my yard. What's well, the easement? It's, big, it's not in your yard. Okay. It's the easement. It's beyond the sidewalk. Okay, so you will take some of that. So now I have an eyesore. In my yard, I'm, I'm just I'm trying to figure out if why. But you have I'm less to mow. There's less to mow. Oh, now I have less to mow. Well, yeah, thanks. you're welcome. <laughs> Ma'am, you know what? Can I ask you what your name is? Uh, sure, it's Carol Gersperms. I already told you that a couple times now. Carol, what? what what's your last name? Uh, Gersperms. Com common spelling. <laughs> Can you spell it for me, please? Ugh. G E R G E R uh -huh. S E B -E -R -M -S. S E B E R M S. I'm the only Carol that works in this whole building. R M S. Well, Carol, I, I just want I just want to let you know that I, I don't understand why you guys are. I mean, you got to understand that, that we're a little bit upset that we're. we're oh, I'm don't be upset. Don't, don't be upset. It's Ma just it's five G. Don't be afraid of new technology. Ma'am, I'm not afraid of new technology. Uh, okay, I'm not. Uh, look, I, You're not going to be one of those me, people setting the 5G boxes on fire because you were saying we're going to have a hard time putting those in. And that, that's, that's not cool. You Don't be setting those on fire. Don't be like those UK I, weirdos setting, setting 5G you, on fire because you don't understand you, it. Ma'am, you never know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, so, sounds like you're threatening to set our boxes on fire. You better not, sir. I'm not. Ma'am, let me tell you something. You are that wife of yours. 
Hey, let me tell you something, ma'am. Where are you at? Hey, can you tell that wife of yours in the background to shut the fuck up? Oh, now you tell my wife to shut the fuck up. Well, I can hear her in the background trying to chime in. I'll tell you what, ma'am. I'll tell you what. Where put, you put your hand at? up in front of her face and just be like, no. Where are you located? Where are you located at? I'm in the comp comptroller's comp office. Where's that, where's that located at? Uh, you know, the city building. Oh, the city building. What city yeah. building? Why, why, why are you getting all weird with me, sir? Are you going to come over and challenge us to a fight? Nope, I'm going to call and talk to you face to face. Over one silly little prank call that we made. Oops. Steve Dave, I, I accidentally gave it away. I told him it's a prank. I'm sorry, sir. It's a prank. Steve Dave started this, and then I got caught up in it, and uh, I don't know. I, I, feel like, I feel like this is just out of control at this point. Well, no. Uh, if it is a prank call, then I understand. Uh, ha, 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 but... Yeah, but we're the, just, the point, Steve Day was just the, messing with you. It's, it's a slow day here today. We're not getting 5G in this neighborhood. You know how expensive that stuff is? Well, it, look, if you guys are working, I mean, if you guys have a job, uh, you need, probably need to spend more time and on uh, doing your job. But the one question is, is don't ever call my home. Prank call or not, and disrespect my wife, and tell and tell me to put my hand in front of her face and tell her to shut the fuck up, because I will tell you that uh, I don't know who you are. That wasn't a question, sir. That was more just like a long rambling sentence, but it was a okay. statement. Well, okay. So are we done? Um. Yeah. Uh. I'm like Steve Day's motion to me to hang up. Uh, okay. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just not good at prank calls. This is Steve Dave's thing, and then you made him transfer it to me. I don't know how to make prank calls. I'm sorry. I messed that one up. I'm sorry, Steve Dave. I'm sorry, sir. And I'm, I'm sorry to that no. wife of yours. Can you please? Can you please tell that wife of yours I'm sorry, sir? I will. I will, I will tell you that you're sorry. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. I love you. Well, there we go. I just barely avoided having him come down to the comptroller's office and challenging everybody there to a fight just in the nick of time. And I can't believe they care about this decorative brickwork next to their driveway. It doesn't look that cool. It's just out there by the easement. You know, we need the room for wires and shit. Like, why does he even care? His wattages are different. He obviously gave up on life a long time ago. So I don't know what I'm doing today. I thought I'd call up some people and just talk to him about 5G. Just to make even more people fear 5G. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Hello? Hi, Joshua? Yes. Uh, it's Kevin from the electric company. Yeah, what? Uh, we're just going to need you to cut that out. What you're doing? Oh, what out? You know, with the light switch. Oh, okay. Will you just stop it? Yeah. Okay, because, you know, we have to fire up the, the, the feeder plants when you do that and... It's a big old hassle, and if you could just cut it out, I'd, we'd really appreciate it. So, what do you want us to do? Just, just stop it. Stop. Like, grow up, you know? So stop it. I'm so confused right now. Yeah, I, I am too. Like, I'm, I'm wondering why you just keep doing that. So, you cut it out, or else we're going to have to call you again, and you don't want to lose your electric service over this. Okay, that part's not true. We can't cancel your electric service. There's laws and stuff. But, you know, we want to. With all your bullshit. You know? Hello? Hello? I was not thinking on that one. I did not mean to say I was with the electric company. I think I meant to say the phone company. I actually forget at this point. Hello? Oh, hi. Uh, Bavik? Hey, yes, Bavik here. Hey there. It's uh, Steve Dave from the, the Condom Mass. The, you know, the Condominium Association. Okay. Uh, we're going to need you to stop stealing Wi-Fi from the other residents. Uh, everyone says I'm... you keep stealing their Wi-Fi. Are you kidding? No, no, you're not allowed to do that. Uh, even if... 
they don't have it locked down very well. Uh, you still can't just use other people's Wi-Fi. Well, uh, I, I, I'm just asking, are you kidding? That is That should not be way at all. Yeah, yeah, you shouldn't be doing that. I agree. Because, you know, you're on their network. You could be looking through their files. People don't know how to secure their, their computers. You can't be just the, roaming around on their Wi-Fi all willy-nilly. Who, who, that, that's ridiculous. That's not. Why is, I should use this, someone's Wi-Fi? I do have my own Wi-Fi. Well, that's really weird then. I agree. This is completely ridiculous. You should be using your own Wi-Fi, not other people's. Like, what are you I, doing? I, I, whoever they can complain, go, wherever they can complain, I, I, I never try to connect anyone's network at all. Yeah, well, so, I don't know. I find that hard to believe because everyone just keeps complaining that you're always getting on their Wi-Fi. Oh, even I don't know who, what are the other networks there. I do have my, I, I give my network name as, myself name as uh, the network. But even I don't know your call coming as a scam also. So I don't know you are the right person or not. My number says it's a scam? Yeah, your number shows me as a scam also. So, so why, does it say scam you, likely? Or does it say Pam likely? My, my wife's name is Pam. No, it's a scam likely. So oh, I don't weird. know you are the right person to talk also. So... Um, probably you send a mail and we directly we will communicate through the mail uh, what are we going to do through the mail yeah bo and uh, you just need uh, to stop stealing everyone's wifi I'm, I'm with the HOA I, I understand you are talking you are saying the condominium HOA mm -hmm. well the, the condoms ass that's what we call it yeah yeah so, okay yeah but uh, even uh, Steve name I never heard either I, I talked to John earlier Oh, uh, not George. I, that's the communicator always with the John. But uh, your name is uh, something I never. So yeah, yeah. But yeah. From my side, I never connected to anyone's network. Okay, well you say. better cut that out. You're not allowed to do that anymore. You stop it. Stop it. No, no. You uh, stop that. What, did you hear that? What I said? I never connected to anyone's network. Yeah, but that's what you'd say if you had connected. So you just need to cut that no, out. No, I never said Don't. that. I never said that. Don't I do that again. That. I never said that. I never connected. So that is period. Yeah, very, very, I, very I peculiar. You are from the HOA or not? On my mobile, it says came likely. If if you feel like I am rude, that that's fine. But I'm gonna have to change my outgoing yeah. caller ID number. I think. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, you can call back right away. Oh no, no, I'm not calling back anyone. I'm just saying you cut that out, sir. You're not allowed to do that. Yeah, but you heard me clear, right? You. Yeah, I yeah. I just I didn't believe you. That's all. Anyone's network. Okay, well, you stop it then. Don't do it again. No, don't say that. Don't do it. I never did. Oh, you stop doing it. You don't, don't do that again. You stop it. Stop it. No. Everyone is they have their own password. Why? Why they will reveal their password? Why? Why I need to connect anyone? I do have my own network. Well, stop guessing everybody's password like that. How do? You, how are you doing that? Are, oh, no, you, no, no, are no. you one of those hackers? See, Steve. I don't know. You are the Steve, or, or you probably we, we will communicate. I, your number is a scam. Oh, my number is not a scam. I just I call a lot of people here in the HOA, and they don't like me because. You know, I tell like it is. I, I, you know, I'm I'm the I'm the one that has to set the rules, and people probably retaliate by reporting my number as a scam. But it's not. I, I live. Poor Bavik. I'm calling up numbers from uh, the request folder, and I think so far the ones that have worked out have been the ones that Nick sent in to me next door, Nick. So that was a guy. Oh, I didn't even read his next door post. He's a guy that works in IT, and he does part time business as a financial advisor. So bullshit, he doesn't know how to connect to other people's Wi-Fis. Mr. IT guy over there, sounding guilty as hell. And damn it, I guess I gotta change my phone number. I would change it to Bavik's number, but he has an out-of-state area code, so that won't work. And I just made up a number, I guess I, uh, you know, just happened to pick one that was 
a spam number that people have used. I'm not calling from one of my real numbers today. It's probably why I'm not getting a lot of answers today. If my number says scam likely. I'm sorry to steal your thing, Snappy Bakes. She always tells everyone her name is Pam Likely. So there's some confusion there. Hello, thanks for calling. I'm unable to get to my phone right now. Uh, please leave me a message. Fucking Kurt. Not answering his phone. Hello. Hi, David. David, hello? Oh, uh, yes. Oh, okay, hey. You didn't say anything when I said, hey, David. It's it's uh, Roy from the Homeowners Association. Yo, yeah, yeah, Roy. Yeah. Uh, they're going to be bringing up some 5G equipment into your uh, place there. They're just going to install it in a closet, I guess. It's, um, it's so more of the neighborhood gets 5G. Oh, 5G, okay. Yeah, so you're going to have really good 5G in your place. Okay, so um, where are they going to put it, you said? Uh, they're just going to find a closet to stick it in. It'll take up the pretty much the entire closet. It's oh, gonna, really? It's going to be oh, a, okay. a large silver custom-built box inside your closet. And uh, they're uh-huh. going to hook it up to your electricity, and it'll provide 5G internet to, uh, I don't know, about a, a quarter mile radius from uh-huh. your house. Um, is everybody getting it? Uh, well, no, they don't have to, because uh, you're going to put it in your house, and they can just get the signal from you. Oh, Yeah. Yep. Wonder why they want to pick pick our my house. Oh, uh, it's just a good central location for all, for where all the other houses are within the radius. Uh-huh. I see. Uh, do you use uh, your microwave a lot? Uh, no, hardly at all. Okay, that's good because if you did, uh, it's it's not going to work anymore with all the five G radio waves surrounding your house. It creates kind of like a bubble. So microwaves. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. You're not going to want to turn on the microwave because it's going to make a really unpleasant sound and it won't get hot anymore. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you might no, I'll have to ask the wife and see if, because I don't, I don't use it, but I think she uses oh, it. Oh, man. Cooking. Yeah. You know what I meant. She uses it. Yeah. Yeah. Tell her, to, tell that wife of yours not to use it. Like, have you ever had an air fryer? Those are just as fast, really. No. Yeah. Get an air fryer because. Uh. No more microwaves, uh, not not within your radius. Uh huh. Can't they put it on a pole outside? Uh, well, they they just want to put it inside your closet. So, do you have a closet yeah, but, uh, you can kind of clean out real quick? Mm, I doubt it. <laughs> um, they don't have a weatherproof enclosure. They can put it on a pole. They don't have to worry about the microwave. Yeah, well, don't tell them how to do their jobs. Uh, maybe just like in the corner of your garage. Um. I don't know. I'll have to see when they when they coming over. Today, uh, in about an hour. Yeah. Yep. Well, I might not be home because all this snow and stuff. Uh, gotta, you know, they'll put it in I your yard. Out. If they can't get in, they'll just put it in the like in the exact center of your yard. Oh, okay. It's a big silver box, like a big tall silver box. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, whatever they want to do. But yeah, really, no, okay. we need, we need to come inside and put it inside. Maybe they can put it in some attic crawl space areas. I don't know. I have to find out more about Sir, this. we need to get 5G out here immediately. We're falling behind the other countries. All the other countries already have 5G. And, oh, and wow. Because of people like you, you know, the U.S. has fallen behind. We look like idiots. Yeah. We'll have to talk to them when they get here. Maybe they can put it on a on a on a. On a I got a tree out back. It should be enough. They yeah, they're put not it putting it that. outside, sir. They're putting it inside. These things aren't weatherproof. Oh, uh, it's new technology. I got a weatherproof box. They can they can put it out. Uh, oh, you don't seem to understand how technology works. And so, what if it attracts airplanes to your house? It doesn't matter. It's five G. It's the fastest internet you're ever going to have. Right. It's faster than right. that dumb space internet. Right. Okay. Well, we'll see when they come by today. If I'm home, they can put it on a on a on a porch, and I'll I'll, I'll just put it put it somewhere in the closet. Oh no, these then. are professional uh, installation people. They're uh-huh. gonna have to come in. Well, I'm not gonna be home, so they'll have to probably reschedule. Probably. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll just use our uh, our own key and clean out one of the closets for you. Um, 
I don't think so. Not today. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, we ha- we have to. We got to get this 5G installed. Right. Well, they can put it on the pole. They got all kinds of telephone Sir, poles right out Sir, 5G here. doesn't go on a pole. That's 4G. You're thinking of 4G. Oh, okay. They had to stop putting it on 5G on poles because everyone sets them on fire. Uh, maybe somebody else in the neighborhood is available. No, no. We've already decided on your house. It's the best location for the radius. Yeah, well. Otherwise, we're going to leave some people out. It's going to be your fault. Yeah. Well, and then, and then can't help next it. thing you know, we're just like India. Yeah. Okay, well, if they come over, fine. If Except not, they have 5G. We'll reschedule. Okay, All thank right. you. Do, do you have any spare keys that you leave out there? I'm not sure. Well, yeah, you I'm are. Come sure. on. Where, where's the spare keys? Just so I can let the workmen know. <laughs> okay, we'll talk to you later. Why are you then? laughing thank at you. me? Okay, bye. Love you. Damn it, this one says, you know, it's like number two. Like it's an apartment building. So I thought it was an apartment building. And then I look at it and it's a big mansion thing. How's there a number two here? Does he live in the, like the pool house or something? Oh shit, that's what I should tell people. We got to put the 5G box in the bottom of the pool. Because it gets really hot. We got to keep it cool. Oh. Hi, Cherry. It's it's uh, Roy from the Homeowners Association. Oh, yes. Hello. Hi. Uh, the post office um, workers are supposed to come by there tomorrow. They, they were supposed to be there today to start digging in, in uh, you know, setting the footings in your front yard. I, uh, but they're gonna they're late. They're gonna be there tomorrow. They they got tied up with something today. Wait, I, you're calling from which homeowners? Are you we talking? To, am I talking to the right person? Oh yeah, or are you HOA? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, where are they digging? Uh, they're gonna put a mailbox up in front of your house, a second one. Why is that? Uh, there's someone else gonna. They're they're doubling up on the addresses because you know they're running out of addresses. So uh, some someone else is going to be using your address. And it's going to be apartment two. It's going to be your address, but I, it's going to be apartment two. I'm totally confused. Are are you my neighbor from two doors down? Oh no, no, I'm I'm with the uh, the homeowners association. This is Roy. Uh, I live I live way I'm, way over there on uh, on um, Fox Chase. Oh, are you are you calling from the? association yeah um, yeah that's the one manage- yeah we we gave the post office permission to oh. start doubling up the addresses so uh, a lot of people in the neighborhood they're going to start having two mailboxes i see i i had no idea about this so yeah. do uh this is tomorrow yeah yeah they're going to pour the concrete footings and put up a brand new mailbox and uh it's going to be for homeless people they're going to be stopping by to pick up their mail It's for whom? Homeless. Well, a lot of the the applicants are are uh, you know homeless people, so they're they're just going to be uh, probably riding out there I on ha- the bus. Roy, I, I have I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, homeless seriously. people, homeless people. You know, people that don't. I, have- no, I understand what homeless that people. means. But, but why are they coming out? To our area to use our mailboxes. I'm totally confused. Oh, because we, we we set up a pretty good deal with with the post office, uh, so we're we're allowing them to uh, just double up on the mailboxes, maybe even triple up if the program goes really well, and then that way, uh, you know, the, the other people can use your address too. No, I, I when did I give permission for this? Oh no, you don't have to give permission. It's fine. We did it on your behalf. Is there somebody I can call at the office and get more information about this? This is nothing I'm familiar with. Uh, well, I mean, it's going to happen tomorrow no matter what. I can no, try. But I'm asking, is there somebody at the management company I can speak to? Because well, I'm very, very confused about this whole situation. Have, have you talked to Carol? I mean, it's not that confusing. It's just the second mailbox. Who, who is Carol? Uh, Carol, she, she's uh, one of the office people here. She's... Above me, she's on the board. What is her last name? Gersperms. I've never heard of her. Okay. What is your last I bet name? You, Roy? Lo- you never heard of me either. You're saying you thought you thought I lived like right there in your street or something? I 
I have no idea. You're calling on behalf of whom? The the homeowners association. <laughs> HOA. I'm just letting you know we're going to double up on your mailboxes. You're going to have two mailboxes out front. But I mean, don't get the wrong one. You know, don't get in the wrong one because uh, that's going to belong to Harv. Harv who? Oh, I I can't give out uh, customers' last names. He he's he's the new resident there. He doesn't live there. He's just going to use the address. His name's Harv. Okay, do you have a phone number over at the uh, management company so I can call them and discuss discuss what's going on? Because I, I could just transfer you over I, to Carol's house. No, could you we, give me? Do you have a have, couple phone numbers? We have you a phone system me? here. I can just hit a button. I'll go straight to Carol. No, just uh, could you give me one or two people's phone numbers okay. and their names? Okay, let me try and hit the thing. Please. See if this is real or not. I... Hello, this is Carol. Carol, uh, I don't know. I'm talking to someone named Roy. What is going on? I'm totally confused. Oh, okay. I, that was weird because ca you came up as Roy's phone number on my caller ID. But but Who are, what so, are you? T what is what is this about mailboxes? Oh, you're doing the mailbox thing. Yeah, we're doubling up on mailboxes here in the neighborhood. So you're pr you're probably getting a second mailbox in front of your house. What what is your, are are you do you work for the homeowners association? Yeah, yeah, I'm on the board. Who's this? What, no, what is your name, Carol? Carol, your it's Carol Gersberms. Spell your last name. That's the common spelling, just Gersberms. You know, G E R. Okay, I have no idea. So what's who, going who, on, who am so I I'm talking to? I don't know who you are. My phone rang and it's Roy's number. He didn't take his... Okay, there she goes. She hung up. She's having none of this. That was an idea from Nathan in Portland. He wants me to tell residents that the post office is coming to install a second mailbox in front of their house for a homeless person who applied for a box at their house. Their address will be theirs plus one half. Oh yeah, I gotta do that. Or maybe it'll be their address plus one third. Because, you know, we gotta leave room in there for more fractions, for more people. You know, that housing crisis, it's getting really out of control. So this is gonna fix everything. Oh, what the hell? Here's one that's a trailer park. And this trailer park has an awesome name. I wish I could tell you guys what it is. Here, let's see if she doesn't pick up. And then, then I'll tell you where she lives. Hello? Hi. You have reached the home of Barb. At the present time, I'm unable to take your phone call. So please leave a message after the tone. And I will get back with you just as soon as I possibly can. Thanks a lot and have a nice day. Barbara, it, it's your neighbor. It's Roy. Hello, are you there, Barbara? Hello, pick up the phone. Hello, pick up, pick up, Barbara. Barbara, are you there? Are you there? Hello, Barbara. Barbara, Barbara, it's Roy, your neighbor. Hello. Don't worry, I'll try right back. Shit, you guys, Barbara's not picking up. No oh, shit. That time the call disconnected for some reason. So I'm gonna try a third time. Barbara? Oh, she's just picking up. Come on, Barbara. Barbara! You motherfucker! Alright, Barbara lives at the Country Cousins Trailer Park, which I think is an awesome name for a trailer park. If I was going to live in a trailer park, I'd want it to be called Country Cousins. What a great name. Hello? Barbara! It's Roy! Who is this? It's Ro Roy from the, the trailer park office. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was trying to call earlier. Yeah, I know, but I don't usually answer the phone if I don't recognize the number. Oh, my gosh. All right. So I just need to let you know they're going to be out tomorrow morning and start pouring concrete footings around your trailer, around your uh, mobile home. Concrete. Tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow morning. There's going to be a bunch of uh, phone company trucks and cement trucks. They're going to be pouring uh, concrete footings around your trailer. Oh, well, is it because it's loose or what? Oh, no, no. This is going to be separate. Uh, it's going to be for uh, 5G boxes, you know, for 5G internet. And they're going to set them up kind of uh, on all sides of your trailer. They're going to put them on, on each side of your trailer. 
Uh, there's going to be six total. Two on each side and, and one on each end. And this is because... Uh, it's for 5G internet. It's going to supply 5G internet to the entire trailer park. Uh, oh, excuse me, mobile okay. home park. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you're going to have uh, you know really fast internet, internet right there. That would be great yep, because com- right now it's slower than the devil. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, it's going to be uh, it's going to be the fastest internet you've ever seen. It's going to be uh, one gigabit, probably even faster for you because it's surrounding your trailer. Oh, that'll be great. You're going to have radio waves bouncing well, all over the place in there. You might be able to hear them. Hear the oh, radio. Okay, but there's nothing. Uh, how are they going to do this with all the snow? Uh, they're, they 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 bring in these giant heaters and they just melt the snow away. They'll probably create oh, a big lake, okay. a big lake in your yard. Oh, okay. But that makes the digging easier. Okay. Oh, okay. So, I better keep my dog away from there too. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Please do. Uh, there, it's going to be like giant silver boxes, like silver towers, as almost as tall as your house. Wow. Surrounding <laughs> surrounding oh. the trailer. Big silver things. Okay. Uh hopefully they don't That's get them in front. I never had that before. Oh yeah, yeah, it's just uh it's just the way we're setting it up. Uh we're going to try a different configuration this time and put it just around somebody's house. One of them's going to be in, you know, on the concrete in your driveway. Well, there there still be room for my car though, right? Yeah, yeah, you just have to, you know, really squeeze out of the car to get out. Really? Yeah. And uh, do you use a microwave? Because when people come over, I need that extra space, uh, you know, because you can't park on the street. Well, it's just one of the boxes. You know, there are six boxes. Six, six, six 5G boxes. Yeah, well, I don't know what those are. But anyway. Uh, it's internet. It's the internet on your cell phone. Yeah, I understand. It's I be understand so fast. this internet. You're going you're gonna to be fucking I, I flying do. on this internet. Ma'am, fucking flying. Yeah. yeah, but on the other hand, it's going to hinder you on other things, right? Oh, uh, you won't be able to use your microwave anymore. What? You're kidding. Yeah, it's because of the radio waves. It, you know, it kind of surrounds them. And oh, man, they, I want to use my microwave. Y- yeah, but it's like the uh, the 5G waves get in the, in the way of the microwaves inside the microwave oven. Because they they go through everything and they just get in there and they oh, they monkey around with the is, with the microwaves. And and of course you have no say in the matter about this, right? Yeah, yeah. It's it's like if you live in a certain elevation and you can't bake cakes anymore. It's the exact same thing. That's terrible. Yeah, yeah. But uh, if you have an air fryer, those are pretty cool. Or a toaster oven. No, I don't. I don't have anything like that. Uh, do you no, have a wood, I, I a really wood stove? Turn on my, uh, huh? Do you, do you have a wood stove? No. You should get a wood stove, like, uh, and just put it in place of your microwave. No, I'm not going to get no wood stove. I mean, you know, you you want to live in a place where they're going to do something for you, and uh, then when they finally do something for you, it screws you up more. I don't understand this. Well, it's not going to screw anything. It's not going to screw screw anything yeah, up. Yeah, it really. is. It's screwing me. You're using my microwave. Yeah, in your parking space. Yeah, my parking space. And we're not. You can still you use your no microwave. It. It's just going to be cold, and it's going to make a really loud screeching sound from now on. It's gonna. It's gonna sound like a demon screaming when you turn on your microwave, because the the radio. Uh, you know, all the waves they conflict. It's not going to interfere with my TV or anything, is it? Oh no, well, do you have satellite or cable? Well, I have cable. Okay. Yeah, that'll be fine. But you'll probably want to get rid of cable because now you can have 5G TV. No, I, I like my cable. Yeah, but you can watch like 100 channels all at once on one screen. No. Doesn't bother me that way. Okay. I, I, you know, this is not uh, good news. Well, no, it's it's great. The whole neighborhood's going to have 5G because of these uh, boxes around your house. Yeah, I understand that, but not everybody has internet. And that, you know, and it's also... Uh, it's taking up stuff in my driveway. It's taking uh, taking my in, my uh, microwave away. It's taking away a lot of things, and it's that's gonna, upsetting. It's going to be in front of your windows too. Those those big silver in front boxes. Of my win- yeah, you like look out your windows, and, and instead of 
the beautiful highway over there, you're going to see a big silver box, a very futuristic looking oh, tall silver please. box. Please. Please. You know, uh, it's a good, this, this doesn't sound right to it's me. It's like a monolith, you know, uh, in, in that one movie, 2001, I think it was. I only saw I it once. I don't care about the movie. I care about if I can live I think monkeys comfort. tried to beat it to death. You know, I, I, I want to see, uh, you know, I, I want to live in comfort. I don't want to live in, uh, in, in uh, you know, I can't do this and I can't do that. Well, can we put the boxes know, on I your roof? You know, this doesn't even sound real, what you're telling me. You know, instead of the boxes, instead of, I mean, instead of using your microwave, you can actually put your food inside these uh, boxes out in your yard, and it'll cook the food faster than a microwave. <laughs> I'm glad she realized that it was, you know, fake, because I was starting to feel bad. She sounded so disappointed about losing her microwave and her parking space and everything else. What does it matter? With those kind of speeds, you can just live in the metaverse, right? You won't even need to have friends come over. You can just hang out online. And this lady doesn't understand that. I can't believe she actually picked up. I didn't think she was going to pick up. I tried her one last time. Thanks, Barbara. Hello. Hi, Steven. Yeah? It's uh, Greg from the Homeowners Association. What can I do for you? Uh, I'll just call them to let you know. Uh, they're going to be installing another mailbox in front of your house tomorrow. Uh, they're going to be there. Why? What happened? You, what happened? What do you mean, what happened? Another mailbox? Yeah, you're going to have a second about? mailbox. Why? Uh, well, it's just going to be so someone else can accept mail at your house. We're doing this for several houses in the neighborhood. What are you talking and about? It's going to be right next to your existing mailbox. I don't a, want another mailbox. What well, do you mean somebody else can accept mail at my house? Yeah, it's, it's not for you. It's for uh, another resident. He's going to... He's going to have your address, but it's going to be... Uh, no, we're not gonna, no, do I have anything to say about this? Well, uh, sounds like you do. You keep interrupting me and talking. Well, I object to this whole thing. Oh, well, you should have done that at the, the city council meeting. You, you missed out on that. I don't know so, anything about a city council meeting. Well, it'll take meeting. more, more uh, interest in local affairs. What, well, what so, the hell are you talking about? What so, kind of resident is going to get mail at my address? Uh, it, it's for uh, under underprivileged people who don't have homes. Uh, they're gonna come and just you know get mail out of that mailbox every once in a while, and it won't affect you at all. It's just an extra mailbox out there by the street. It's practically not even in your yard. Well, of course it's in my yard. Well, uh, practically not. It's who on can the I easement base. Who can base. I object to about this? Uh, I don't know. Just just tell your wife how unhappy you are about it and leave us alone. Uh, we'll be there tomorrow with the the cement. And the, the workman and the second mailbox. Okay, I'm going to call the police. For what? To tell them that I don't want you on my property. Oh, well, uh, no, this is our property. We're the homeowners association. Okay, my lot is my property. Yeah, well, I, you basically you're just renting from us with the HOA fees and all that. Oh, no, I'm not renting this lot from you. I have full title to this lot. Yeah, well, I'm uh, an attorney. Don't tell me that you th own this property. There, there's going to be bullshit. one little square that you don't own, and that's going to be considered 29 and a half drive. And that, that'll just belong to the mailbox itself. You, you can't touch it. Well, let, let me get you. What is your name again? Uh, it's Grega. G R E G G A. Oh no, just G R E G G. You know, like Greg with Greg, two G's. It's Greg. Gre Greg what? Okay, spell it for me, please, sir. Sure. Uh, I, and then T. Okay, I'm not following. What's your first name? Grega. My name is Grega. And what's your? It's and like, what's your given name? Well, that that that's it. It's it's Greg, but it's with two G's. It's not that complicated. There's there's three G's in my names, in my name. Yeah, but you're only giving me one name. You're not giving me a first and a last name. Oh, a last name. You you said some fancy word for it or something. I I ain't English, sir. Yeah, given. Oh, it, it's uh Goggins. G o g g a n. Oh uh, no, g o g g i n s. There's three G's in that one, too. Isn't it crazy? Okay. 
Goggins. Okay, and you're from the 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 Brook yeah, the Homeowners Association or HOA. Yeah, it's not a big deal. It's just going to be an extra mailbox out there. Just don't get confused yeah. and accidentally take someone else's mail. Yeah, well, it's in there. I, you know, I I received nothing in the mail, nothing no, nothing in the mail about this, and you're taking my property. This oh no, no, we, we 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 sent you a letter in the mail about it. You, probably that wife. No, of yours, you didn't. Probably that wife no, of yours threw it away. She probably thought it was junk no, mail. No, my wow. wife. No, my wife didn't throw away any mail, and you never sent me a goddamn letter. Oh, I, I no, we sent letters to everyone that were uh, given a second mailbox. I think that wife of yours probably made a mistake. Yeah, she's not that wife of mine, and she didn't make a mistake. She's not your, she's not your wife. You got a lot of nerve, you know. What do you, what do you, what do you mean? You're calling me and telling me you're taking my property. The homeowners association has no title to my to my lot. We're not taking your property. It's just a little little sliver of property. Just a mailbox sized piece of property. You don't you're not doing anything with it. Oh my god. Can, can you tell okay. that wife of yours just to hush up? Oh my god. Yeah, see she keeps doing that. Tell her to zip it. Oh shit. This is a great idea, Nathan. Thanks for this one. I know I did this once before with uh, underground tenants, but I think I was the tenant calling them. But people seem to get way more offended when they think it's an underprivileged person. They're like, well, we can't have those types of people in our neighborhood. And I wish I could find a place where they have the mailboxes up on the house. Because I want to say we're putting another mailbox up on the house. They would definitely hate that. Hello? Hello? Uh, Gary? Yeah? It, it's Greg yeah, from the Homeowners Association. From from the condoms oh, ass. Hi there. Yeah. Hey, how are you doing? Well, I was in the middle of a nap. How can I help you? Oh, sorry about that. Uh, we're gonna come over tomorrow with a bunch of five G equipment and uh, fill up your uh, attic crawl space with it. All right. Do you uh, actually come on in? What's that? Do you actually come on into my home? Yeah, yeah. We got to come in one of the rooms and puncture a hole in the ceiling to to raise all that five G equipment up into it. All right. What time do you think you might be over? Uh, just probably in the morning before noon. You know, we don't have any any way to get out up there from the outside, and we gotta install this five G equipment that's gonna be uh, directly above your head, buzzing all the time. Sounds good. Yep. Yep. But you're gonna have really all fast right. internet from now on. You're gonna have five G oh. internet. Excellent. Well, if it's all right with you, I'm gonna go back to bed. Uh, what were you dreaming about? Oh, I was just napping away. Yeah, so. but what were you dreaming about? You're probably dreaming. Not yet. I was just getting there. Ah, uh, what did you dream about last night? You know what? I I couldn't tell you. Why not? Well, I just don't remember my dreams. Well, don't be embarrassed. Come on, just tell me. No, actually, I don't remember, but yeah. I will see you tomorrow morning. All right, tomorrow morning, we're just going to puncture holes in your ceilings and shove a bunch of equipment up there. Sounds great. It's Thanks. Gonna, it's going to make your microwave go all squirrely. Awesome. All right. <sighs> all right, thank you very much. All right, sweet dreams. Thank you. Bye. Doesn't remember his dreams, whatever. We all know he's just embarrassed. Hello? Oh, hey, Ronald? Yes? It's uh, Steve Dave from the HOA. This is who? Uh, Steve Dave from the, the Homeowners Association. Oh, okay. Um, I'm calling to let you know we're going to be uh, installing another mailbox at your house. So, you know, out by your regular mailbox. Because you, you wrecked the other one? Oh, no, we didn't wreck it. We're just, uh, you're going to have a second mailbox. And uh, that one's going to be five, eight and a half road why is that uh it's just for uh you know underprivileged people uh we're gonna assign somebody else with your address too and uh, uh, why are you doing that well he's just gonna come by every once in a while and check his mail you know check the mailbox maybe uh put, put some letters in there to who, send out who's doing this oh uh we're doing this to several houses around the neighborhood you know just just providing uh two mailboxes per address on some addresses and possibly three Who's in the author- future. What? Who authorized this? Uh, the, the HOA board. We all voted on it. 
So uh, it's it's no big deal. You don't have to let them in the house or anything. I mean, unless they want to use the bathroom or whatever when they're checking their mail, it'd be nice. But no, they're just so they're going to store they're going to store a separate mailbox. Yeah, yeah. It's it's going to be your address, but there's going to be a half. So regular mail can go into it also. Oh yeah, yeah. Any any mail can go in there, and and your address is going to change into a fourth. Into a fourth. Yeah, yeah. Whenever anyone uh, mails you from now on, you need to put five. Eight and a fourth road. I don't know if I want that because I have to change everything, all my automatic payments and automatic mailings. Yeah, well, you know, they'll they'll probably let it slide for a little while, but eventually you're gonna have to I, learn I your new address. I don't want it. Oh, it's too late. They're they're coming tomorrow to to put the second mailbox in. Well, I'm gonna take it down then. Oh, you can't do that. That's that's a federal I, crime. You can't go around just stealing mailboxes. Well, I don't want to change my address. Oh, you don't have to change. I mean, you're you're still going to live there. No, but all the all the mailings I get, you say they won't. Oh, I'm no, have to change all that. Yeah, well, eventually, you know, just just try and get it changed soon, because. Uh, uh, I'm not going to change it. I, I mean, I got too many things, too many business stuff. My home office is a business. I'll. You know, business cards, mailings, everything well, is you, tied you, to fifty one eighteen. You might start getting Herb's mail if if you don't change it. You know, they'll get confused. Uh, I, I'm not. I don't want this. Well, I don't see how the board how the board can do this to me. Well, it's it's not even it's 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 not going to really affect anything. It's just an extra mailbox out there. Well, we'll make sure it's a. Yeah, but you say I have to change. I have to change my mailing address. Yeah, but it's just it's the same address. It just has a fourth after it. I'm not going to change it to a fourth. I, it's a, I have too many things that are printed up and already set settled at automatic payments and everything. Yeah, just this add a ridiculous. fourth. Add a fourth after them, like on your return address I, labels. Just put a little one, one four. I on can't there. do that. I've got all these. I got about thirty automatic payments. I already went through this with a bad credit card. I have to change everything. Um, I'm not going to do this. Well, do you just not understand how fractions work? Like, uh, we can show you how to do the I one fourth. I fractions. I, I have a PhD in mathematics, so don't give me this bullshit. Okay. You're, you're allowed to do decimals, thing. too. You could do 0.25. I don't want to do this. I do not want to do this. Well, for, for, someone, for someone that has a PhD, you, you sound like, uh, I don't you know, want really, a mailbox. really upset I don't about want a, a simple there. little thing. I do not want a mailbox. I will take it down, you, you know? Th you think you so can figure out numbers it. with your PhD? You. Just call people to tell me who authorized this because I do not want it. Thank uh, you. Carol Gersperm, she she uh, voted on... Hello? I thought he was asking for a name so he'd know who to complain to. You know, every person that I've talked to now about this doesn't do anything with that bit of yard out there by the street. It's just empty yard, just sitting there, not being used all the way down the street as far as you can see. It's just empty yard. We could put a mailbox every two feet and it'd be fine because nobody's used any of that stuff. Remember when I moved all the mailboxes from an entire street into one lady's front yard? She did not like that. Hello? Hi, Steven. Yes. Hey, it's uh, Grega from Verizon Wireless. Uh, we, just, uh -huh. we just need you to, to reboot your, uh, your home power real quick for the 5G box mean? that's out there. What? What do you mean? What, what do you? I don't understand what you mean. Oh, we reboot know. We, it. What you, we we put an underground uh, uh, five G box for uh, the the internet, the five G internet for phones, and we hooked it up to your power. So whenever you uh, cycle your power, that'll cycle the box. We just need you to reboot for us. It's not working. You're you're losing me. What? I don't understand what you're asking me. <sighs> Nobody where, where within within a, a mile radius of your house has five G internet right now. Because we need you to reboot. Like, go down to your breaker How box. How do I reboot? Uh, go to your breaker box and shut off all the power. You For what reason? I don't... To reboot the internet. We got the 5G hooked up to your house, to your electric. When did you do that? Uh, about a year ago, the Homeowners Association gave us permission to. We worked it all out with them. So, yeah, we just we hooked it up into your electricity. So, so we wouldn't have to run new electric lines, but now we need you to reboot because the, okay. the the internet's down. Okay. Oh, thank. Okay, thank you. Just gotta turn off that main. Oh, hello. <laughs> Does that mean he's gonna do it? Does he believe me? Or probably not. He probably knows I'm full of shit. I remember when I got some CenturyLink guy to believe that. Didn't he actually go downstairs and reboot his internet for me? I mean, reboot his house 
for me. Hello? Hi, Kurt. Yes? It's Greg from the Homeowners Association. Hi, how are you? Pretty good. I just needed to let you know that they're, uh, the work people are going to come out tomorrow and put a new mailbox in front of your house. A new mailbox in front of our house? Yeah, like a second mailbox. Oh, why Why is that? Uh, well, they're, they're, you're going to have dual residency there. The, I, I don't know if you know about the, uh, if you've seen it on the news, there's like a guy that lives underneath the ground around here. And I, I guess no. it's most centrally located directly underneath your house. So he's asking for your address? No. Yeah, no, that's, that's what they're going to be doing. They're just installing a uh, second mailbox. No. Right by the that. right by the first one. No. Uh uh-uh. why do you keep saying no? I I'm letting you know. I'm not I'm not asking you if this is true. I'm telling you they're gonna be there tomorrow. Install the second mailbox. For dual the, residency at my home. Yeah, but he's he's in caves like way below your house. So he's not gonna Yeah. He, he's just gonna come by every once in a while and pick up the mail. I see. Uh, he's like a troll. Well, you don't need to be rude about it, sir. It's a it's a guy that lives down there no, with his family. I'm just. I'm, who is this? One more time. Uh, this is Grega from the. Oh, you're the. You're saying you're the president of our homeowners association. I'm the president. No, I'm. I'm not. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm not the president. This is Grega. Grega. Yeah, with two G's. Greg with two G's. Greg with two G's. Correct. Uh, what's your position on the board? Uh, it's none of your goddamn business. So uh, just because I'm actually I'm on the board, <laughs> and I am one of the trustees on the board. So uh, the trolls that have moved in under my house, I find that really ironic. Do you feel like you really got one over on me because you're on the board? You're like, oh shit, I'm gonna tell this guy. No. Like I'm gonna. <laughs> no, I really, I really wasn't worried. I really wasn't worried at all. I was just trying to find out and ascertain why you had trolls living under my house they're not trolls sir it's a it's a nice family a nice family living under my home deep 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 underground yeah in caves you yeah, know just like in humans caves, have lived deep, in deep. for for millennia since the beginning oh, that's, of time that's fantastic how interesting yeah so so you have my address too right of course okay what's my address uh 53 53- court but you're not going to have that address anymore your address is going to be in a half and the uh and the, a half yes like the, harry potter here no that was that was what was that like five thirds or something crazy yeah oh so it won't be crazy it'll just be 53 11 and a half yeah and a half and then uh the underground people they're going to have the 53 11 with no half on it oh but we what's weird is with dual residency uh, the primary resident, which is me, would be the primary number. Any addition to said residency would be a secondary number. Listen, it would never sir, be a half, by the way, he's but. the primary resident because he's lived down there longer than you. No, 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 no. Yes, he understand. has. How You don't even know anything what? about the underground tunnels, apparently. Well, the underground t- tunnels sound very interesting. Mythical, yet interesting. Oh, you think tunnels are mythical? You don't think caves really exist? You think that's just something in the storybooks? Caves do really exist. Um, Oh, thanks for clearing that up. I'm glad you let me know about that. Maybe even trolls really exist. It sounds like you're a troll, actually. Um, I don't appreciate that. I'm just short. You're short? that That doesn't make me a troll. No, no, no. If you're height challenged, that's absolutely fine. I mean, you, you can I know be it is. Nothing height wrong challenged, with that. And, and that's appropriate and, and totally fine. I know people who are, are challenged by that often. I hope you do have step stools and ladders. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah I mean, to help yourself along, you know. But nobody calls me a troll, just, just people like you, I guess. No, 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 no. A troll is just an individual who kind of. It's kind of uh, like a slur that you made others. up, right? It's like a slur. No, no, no. You're, you're no, really no. into using I, slurs. That's what it is. Haven't you ever heard of internet trolls? Hey, do you have any good slurs for uh, I don't know Chinese people? No, well, let's not hear at all. them. Let's hear um, what you got. No, I don't. I don't. Since do you're into any slurs, or ethnic slurs. Um, it. I was comparing you to an internet troll, and I thought you would have understood my subtext, but apparently you didn't. Oh, no, I don't have the internet. All right, I have oh, shit to do. I gotta go. I love you. 
Well, that's great. They'll you be know, there tomorrow with the mailbox. Have a fun day. I love you. You have a great day. Well, please say it back, or you're making you're make, kind of making it weird there. No, you're making it weird. All right, I love <laughs> Dude, you. Dude, I don't, I don't love you. No. Mm-mm. Why not? Don't, you just don't love what? Because I'm a troll. No, no, no. Sir, like I'm hanging up. Troll. I'm, I'm hanging up. You hateful, hateful person. Is, is that what it is? Guy just wants to talk to me. I thought I'd try and get one of the underground calls in, but surprisingly enough, people never seem to believe those. They think they're a myth, just like trolls. Hello. Hi, Rose. Yes, it is. Uh, it's Greg from the Homeowners Association. Oh, yeah. Hey there. Hi, uh, hi Greg. Hey there. Hi. I was calling to let you know, uh, they, you know, they didn't make it out there today, obviously, to, to pour the concrete footings for the tower. So, oh, I don't know that I'm involved in that. I'm not sure I understand. Oh, well, it's just in that large grassy area in front of your sidewalk. Uh, you know, the hmm. little oval shaped thing. They're going to be putting a, a cell phone tower there, like a 5G internet tower, cell phone and internet tower. Directly in front. Where is that? Uh, directly in front of my house. Yeah, right in front of your house. Uh, basically, right in front but of the fr- in- front door. I'm sorry. What? Are you kidding? No, not in front of the front door. But you know, f- from the street, it's directly in front of the front door. Or doors, I should say. You, you people with your fancy doors, your two doors. <laughs> um. So. Yeah, it's just it's just going to be a 5G tower. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's the internet. 5G. You know, like it'll help you get your uh, cell phone calls and your internet. It's going to be a uh, it's not going to be a tall one. It's just going to be about twice as tall as your house is all. But is is it on our property? Uh, well, it's in that little uh, uh, green oval thing in front of, you know, you have the weird sidewalk. Like, it looks like a drunk person laid it. Like, the, it's all, it's all, it's kind of like a circle, but not quite. It's like a misshapen half of a circle. It's like an oval, but not really an oval. It's like an oval that a, a kindergartner drew. And who is this again? Uh, this is Grega from the Homeowners Association. Okay, Greg, what's your last name? Uh, Greg. Goggins. Spell that, please, for me. G-O-G-G-I-N-S. Okay. So, yeah, um, they're just going to pour the concrete tomorrow. The first and then I've heard about then, this, oh, I don't know. Do, do I have to approve that because it's on my property? Oh, no, I was just letting you know why they didn't show up. You, you got the letter about it, right? No, I don't have a letter about it. Okay, yeah, they're supposed to show up today to, to pour the concrete. And uh, install the um, the phone equipment shack that's going to be next to it. I I don't know. I mean, do I don't I have to approve this. This is this just something they can do? Oh, the, the city that's doing this. This is out by the street. It's basically on an easement. Okay, so it's not on my grass. It's not in the middle of my where the little tree is or the little bushes. Oh yeah, where you have your house number. Uh, posted it's going to be in the middle of all that yeah like right in the middle well the, really the tower and then i didn't know i didn't know that you can do that I, is that something i don't know if i want that on my yard can't well, you put it someplace else oh no they've already decided uh, we're going to just put it right there because it's centrally located for the whole neighborhood and, but and I, the whole neighborhood will have 5g internet my approval i don't care about any of that that doesn't matter to me am i getting fine well, um, you don't you don't have app, to you don't so. have to sign up for the five G service. It, it'll just be right. But in your I don't know why you can't put it someplace else. Put it someplace else, please. I don't want it in my right in the middle of our trees well, there in it, our yard. It's too late. They already set up the plans for your you know for your place. But I didn't approve it. I did not, did not get a letter. Well, I didn't get anything. Just it seems like you have to get the approval. Maybe I mean, just, just threw it away. No, this is on the easement. It's on a, a, no. a misshapen easement in front of your house. There is no misshapen easement. It's, we have a circle drive in front of our house. Oh, that's, so it that's goes, a driveway? I thought that was a sidewalk. That's a really skinny driveway. You must have one mm. of those skinny cars. Are you sure you called the right number? You got the right house? Yeah, the uh, 50 drive. 
And, uh, the, you know, the shack that we're going to put out there with all the phone equipment, their address is going to be the same as yours, but it's going to have a half on it. So they're going to be 56 and a half drive. Wow. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. This is the first I've heard of this, so this is just a shack to me. Oh, it's not that I big of a deal. Really Everyone's get getting approval. 5G these days. Well, I don't care about that. I'm caring about the property and how it looks on my property. It's, I mean, why does why do they pick our house and not the house across the street or down the street? Why is it mine? Oh, they just figured that weird little misshapen half uh, oval would be a good place to put it. <laughs> is this a joke? Are, are you teasing me? Teasing I just me. Sound, this sounds a little funny to me. Do I sound like the kind are of person sure? that would joke, ma'am? I don't know. I just it just sounds because you're making uh, derogatory comments about the shape in the front and. Well, you know, I, I just, I don't know. Well, it's just it's, sounding a little strange. I'm sorry. It just, it, it just this is just not it's, seeming. It's, it's not a very good, it's not a straight line is what I'm saying. And the bend is weird. Huh. Well, I don't want it on our property. So I'm refusing for you to put it. This is our property that we pay for. And isn't it our property? So don't you have to get permission from people that own their property and pay taxes on their property? Well, yeah, that's why we sent the letter. But uh, you know, I so, did not get a letter, where, where, and I open our mail. Where, where when did the, the letter? When was the letter mailed? Uh, I, mean, I don't know. Back. But you know, we're with the HOA. We, we basically know. we own the property. You're just renting from us, so we just told them, "Yep, that's fine." Verizon, go ahead and install your towers. We're renting it from you. Yeah, you know, like uh, with the homeowner fees and taxes and all that. Yeah. Yeah. How high is the tower? Uh, it's going to be. Um, it looks like uh, 40, 43 feet. It's a very small one, you know, compared to the other ones that you usually, usually see. And what's your phone number, Greg? Uh, that's on your oh, caller ID. Go- uh, okay. And it'll be under the name uh, Spam Likely. I mean, you know, I'm not trying. I I got to call somebody and ask them about this because this just doesn't sound right to me. This is. And I did not get a letter. Was it about a month ago? Two months ago? Yeah, probably a month ago. Recently? The, the nice part is, like, there's going to be so much uh, electromagnetic radiation. I don't want that. So it's a 5G tower for Internet. Yeah, yeah. So you, your your phone's going to be so fast in there. Like, I don't care about that. You'll, you'll be blown away, like, uh, <laughs> how, how hot it. your phone actually gets. on our property. Yeah, whenever you're yeah. using the 5G, it's just going to burn your hands. You're going to have to get, like, a, a phone mitt. Oh. Like a, a phone oh. case that has uh, heat protection. Well, thank you for calling. Bye for now. All right. I love you. Am I really going to keep that call? That seems like a pointless call. But if you just heard that, guess what? I decided to keep it for some reason. Yay. And you guys, what was the, the Harry Potter train station uh, platform something? And was it three quarters? I think I said five thirds to that guy before. Here, let me type it in. Oh, there it is. Nine and three quarters. That's what it is. That guy a couple calls ago, he's all into Harry Potter. Hello. Hi, David. Yes. It's uh, Greg from the Homeowners Association. Okay. Uh, I was just calling to let you know uh, the the trucks are going to be there tomorrow to uh, install the concrete footings for the 5G boxes in front of your house. Okay. So uh, they'll probably be there about nine in the morning. Okay. And you, you got the, uh, is it going to block the? It's not going to block the driveways or anything. Is it? Oh no, nothing like that. They're just going to put three boxes in between the two driveways. Oh, okay. The, the, okay you know no the worries. excessive amount of driveways that you have in front of your house. Uh, they're yep. just, They're going to go yep. right in between those. Okay. Cool. That's fine. Uh, they're going to be large uh, silver structures, almost as tall as your house. Really? Yep. And they're for five uh, G. Five G internet. So you're going to have a really fast internet, probably. Yeah. That's a good thing in one way, but then on the the other hand, the radiation comes in from them. (laughs) Oh, no, there's no radiation. It's very safe. Um, Oh, is it? Yeah, but the thing is, you can't use the 5G because it's so close to your house. It kind of puts your house in this little uh, bubble, kind of like you're in the eye of the storm. Oh wow! So uh, the the 5G is not going to work there. I'm very sorry, but they had to pick. They had to. They had to pick my house, huh? Yeah, well, there's not much they can do. It's just too close to your house. I'm sorry. 
Okay. Uh, so you right. you won't be getting the one the one gigabit stuff. So is that so? Is it gonna slow slow my internet or? Uh, well, do you use a lot of Wi-Fi in there? Oh really? Damn. No, no, I was asking. Do you use do you use a lot of Wi-Fi? Because since you're in this oh, okay. eye of the storm thing. Well, my- it, it's, I mean, my, my kids do, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's going to make your kids' Wi-Fi go wacky. Oh, no shit. They're going to be very pissed. Yeah, uh, just hook them up to, to uh, you know, the, the cables, Cat5 stuff. Just give them... Yeah, I don't have any cable. Give them some hard connections to their to their phones. I just, uh, yeah, I got Xfinity, I mean, internet, but I don't have any cable. So. Um, yeah, uh, yep. just you're not going to be able to use um, microwaves anymore. Or uh, LED bulbs; those won't work since you're in the really? you're in this little bubble area. Probably the people oh, no directly way. across from you they they might be in a little bit of it themselves, but mostly you. So do oh, you ha- wow. do you have some incandescent bulbs you could put in instead? What kind of bulbs? Uh, you know the old kind, the ones that get really hot and start fires. <laughs> yeah, I got some of those. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that's what you need. Uh, the the upside okay. is that they're much cheaper than LED bulbs. Yeah, I know they are. And, All right, no worries. Thank you. And you guys don't use your microwave, do you? Uh, I, occasionally. Oh, not anymore. Wow. You're gonna want to get a toaster oven, maybe. I got. I, I do actually do have toasters. Okay, good. Good toaster should be just fine. Okay. Just, uh, just, what is your name again? Uh, Grega. Grega? Yes. It's like Greg, okay. but with two G's. I got you. Okay. All right. Thanks for the info. I appreciate it. Oh, no problem. I love you. I love you, too. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. All right. I think it's time for me to give up on today's show. I'm finding less and less people that are believing anything I say to them. So maybe it's just time to start up some voicemails. That's what I should do. Hello. Oh, hello, Scott. Yep. It's uh, Greg uh, fr- from the city, from the comptroller's office. Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> I was just calling to let you know uh, they're going to be out there tomorrow to install the boxes in front of your house on, on <laughs> drive. Oh, I sold that house. Oh, did you? You don't own that anymore? No. Oh, okay. Well, good for you then, because you probably would have yelled at me. Uh, you know, we're putting up a bunch of 5G boxes we're filling up the whole yard with them. With what is it? Uh, big silver boxes that provide 5G internet to the whole neighborhood. <laughs> They're going to be these loud humming boxes. <laughs> oh, oh well. <laughs> They're going to do this low frequency hum. Like if you lived there, you wouldn't have been able to sleep tonight. Or, I mean, after they install them. Because, you know, it's just Where like this going? crazy humming sound. Up on the poles in the backyard? Oh, no, these are going to be boxes on the ground. Like, uh, it's going to cover every surface of the lawn of your old house. No way. Yeah, yeah. You know how you have windows, like, kind of down below, like the basement windows? Yeah, yeah. Those will be completely blocked by large silver structures in the yard. Well, I mean, I know the people that own it. Oh, are they going to be pissed? Are they going to be mad? (laughs) Well, they're, uh... Uh, family from uh, they're Filipino. Oh, okay. Do they use the internet? Do you know if they use the internet? I have no idea. Okay, hopefully, because that'll be the one golden lining in all this. Wow. Fast internet. <laughs> yeah, right. Front yard internet. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's going to look like shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's snowing. It'll all be white. <laughs> yeah, yep, that's true. We gotta melt all that snow just to install these things. Yeah, yo, well, I'd probably bet you the grounds. Well, I bet you the top four or five inches probably rock hard. <laughs> yeah, kind of like my dick. <laughs> rock hard like my dick. Wow. You know, you didn't laugh about nope. that one. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the voicemails now. I think I'm done with calls for the rest of the day. There you go. Done with the phone calls. Time to listen to some voicemails. <laughs> and end the you show. You'll be digging. What? You'll be digging. Do they know that you're digging tomorrow? 
No, no, they're going to be in for a surprise because I think we uh, sent the letter to your. It probably got forwarded to you about it. Or they just threw it out because they used to give me my mail, but yeah, oh, assholes. So they deserve it. A little while ago, they deserve this. Yeah, then hey. <laughs> I'll have to drive by and check on the dig. Okay, if uh, if they have any complaints tomorrow, you know I'm going to be there with the work crew tomorrow. Uh, if they have any complaints, I'm just going to say, well, Scott, he told us that you deserved it. <laughs> and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll hold up my middle finger to him. <laughs> I'll say, fuck you. That's from Scott. <laughs> We're going to get him good. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck on that 5G. Oh, thank you. Uh, time for voicemails. <laughs> All right. Can, can you yeah, can, can you announce the voicemails for me? Can you just be like, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the voicemail <laughs> part of the show, the voicemail segment, nope. everyone. <laughs> do, do that. <laughs> Not today. Oh come on, just announce it for me. It's for the show, it's for my podcast. <laughs> They'll be digging on Donnelly tomorrow. That's right. And then and then go rah, 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 voicemails. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I love you. Goodbye. Bye. Good enough. Hey, Brad. Kamako from San Diego County. Hey. It's been a while since I've called in. Um, I hope you get to feeling better. Me and I my am. family are dealing with Corona also. Yeah. So I, <clears throat> Seems like everybody is right now. Like everyone I know is getting I feel Corona. Your pain. Uh, anyways, great job. Keep it up. I appreciate you. Aw, thanks. I appreciate you. Mako. Yeah, I think I'm completely better. I think I'm done being tired all the time. Hopefully. I think my sleep schedule is getting back to normal, so that's nice. Man, you guys did not listen to me about not leaving voicemails for me this week. There are so many voicemails in here. God damn Hello, all Roy, of you. This is Sparrow calling from New York. Hey. I was just listening to Hobo Show 266 in it, around 5 minutes and 55 seconds. You call a gentleman named Derek. Uh, you accuse him of doing stuff to your milk door. And Derek mm-hmm. eventually caught on and found you to be hilarious. You just made his day. He was laughing. You should listen to it. But I, I was wondering, have you ever revealed your identity to someone uh, on a prank? <clears throat> and the reason I asked that is because Derek was asking you who you were because he found you so funny. Yeah. Um, and I was really wanting you to do it. Anyways, uh, answer the question, please. Thank you. Okay. I love you. Fine, I will. I've definitely told people that, uh, you know, who I am and where to find our stuff. I used to do that more in the phone show days. And I remember at least a couple times, some of the people that we pranked, they showed up in our video chat room, tiny chat that we used back then. And that was kind of cool. But uh, I usually don't do that because people suddenly get all mad about it or they read the comments about themselves and people are making fun of them. And then they just start reporting my shit. That's why my shows are so heavily edited these days because there's always that listener that wants to track down whoever I called and contact them. I'd be like, look, here's the guy that pranked you. Isn't that hilarious? And then my shit gets taken off YouTube. This has all happened. This isn't just me assuming this is what's going to happen. But that's probably because I let you guys choose who gets notified that they were pranked. And I'm not trying to blame the listeners for me not telling people that they got pranked. Or who I am, I mean. I don't know. I just don't want any trouble. Maybe, you know, after this year's over and I have some more freedoms, I'll be a little more open with that kind of thing. And then I'll probably get sued by a recipient. I remember last week I was listening to uh, either the Wasted Memory show or the Dragon Mirror show. I get those two shows confused for some reason. I don't know why. But they seem to, every once in a while, get a really awesome guy. And I'm just in the chat room going, tell them who you are. This is a new listener. And they never listen to me. They just hang up on him and let them go and move on to the next prank. God damn it, Dragon Mirror and Wasted Memory. So, yeah, I don't remember that prank you're mentioning on the hobo so and i'm too lazy to go listen hi brad it's whoopa pow here i'm hey. calling from myself you know phone. maybe i should save the phone numbers of people who i think that i should be friend with the show i'll save them for like a year later because people see the humor in it a year later like Teresa at anytime fitness she thought it was hi, hilarious brad, it's pow here i'm calling from my cell phone um i just came up with a great idea and i think you'd really enjoy it so All when you right. call someone and tell them you're putting something in the yard like a row of mailboxes or an Amazon storage or a package holding for Or a 5G silver cube. And then they keep saying no, just tell them that you will be you will offer them a thousand dollars a month or five hundred dollars a month, whatever it is, to see if they will bite and go along with it. Okay. Thank you. Bye. I'll sweeten that pot for him. 
I'm pretty sure that's what really happens when, you know, someone puts a 5G tower up in your yard. They pay the owner of the land a monthly rent. I don't know why I don't throw that in there. It's just kind of fun to tell them they get nothing. Hey, Brad. It's Teen Wolf Jesus. Hey. Hey, I was just listening to uh, the PLA, one of the PLA albums from uh, from iTunes, Operator Le- Leaving Line. Yeah. I've actually never f- heard it before. That old recently. thing. But anyway, my question is... You can make fun of it if you want. It's very 90s sounding. I don't think it's aged well you come up with the rules of prank calling because I just listened to the track <laughs> a radio station hit there were no rules in the 90s it was the wild wild west <laughs> where some lady allegedly won five grand from a radio station oh that- yeah that wasn't even me I always just wanted to have other people on my prank albums so that was a listener I don't even remember who that guy is but I remember that being a pretty good call I called her whoever it was and you guys said she'd have to kill somebody to get the five G's <laughs> so it seems like that might be a little contrary to the rules of prank calling. I mean, maybe not. Yeah. Maybe that is something that you can do as long as you pretend to be a radio station. But anyway, I just wanted to know that. I think we just didn't think of stuff like that back then. And that wasn't even me. That was some other guy. So I guess the rules of prank calling page, when did I put that up? Like 10 or 15 years ago? Probably 10. And originally it was going to be a page just called how to make prank calls. Because I saw some other web page that had a how to make prank calls thing, but it was garbage. I'm like, I can do better than this. So I did a how to make prank calls page and I decided mine was garbage too, but I left the rules in and I think I slowly edited away the rest of it. And really I should go in there and simplify them and make them easier to understand maybe, but you know, they're a good guideline of things that you shouldn't do based on real experiences that I've had or that I've seen other people have in the prank call community, like pranking local. I got in trouble for that several times. So I think that's a good thing not to do. Hey, Brad. Uh, it's your hey. pal Will here. Hey, it's been Will. A little minute since I called. Um, I don't honestly know why I'm calling you right now. I'm hungover as shit. Just listening to one of your shows in a lot of fucking pain, and uh, I kind of just want to bitch at you and tell you to make more shows, man. Damn it! I know you got time. You ain't yep. doing that PI shit no more. Just make more shows first, please. Okay. All right. Love you, Brad. Have a good one. Will just needed someone to complain at, I guess. Thanks, Will, for yelling at me. Hey, Brad, call me Cactus calling in. Hey. Uh, finally bit the bullet yesterday and subscribed on Patreon, and I have oh. full access to the Hobo Soaks now, and boy, am I glad I did. Thank you. Because on the most recent one, you did a Beverly call, a brand new Beverly call That's right. that all the losers who aren't subscribed to the Patreon will never get to hear. Yeah. So... So and that's what I said about the previous Beverly call, but then I think it was Vista Blue, they made a Beverly song, so I had to put a new Beverly call into the show. That was Vista Blue's fault. Too bad, so Not this time, though. Too bad for all the losers that aren't subscribed. That's right. But, you know, somebody else sent me a Beverly song, and, you know, that's one of those things that is buried in my email that I need to get to. And I need to do a new Beverly show. Maybe I'll do that today, because today it's still early in the morning, kind of. By early in the morning, I mean it's like 11. And I meant to post this show yesterday, but I didn't quite get it finished up. Probably because of Devin. She had to go and do a live show and call me into it, so I didn't get my editing done. That's all Devin's fault. Even though this is the February 2nd show, I'm actually finishing it up on February 3rd. Freaking Devin. What I'm getting at, though, is maybe I'll have time today to do another Beverly show. Probably not. You know, I always say I'm going to do stuff, and then I don't. I'm full of shit, basically. Yo, it's wasted. Uh, that song is by Look Mom Puts a Cover. Oh, yeah. Uh, of No Scrubs, TLC No Scrubs by Look Mom, Look Mom, No Computer. I love Look Mom, No Computer. That's, that's that. And then uh, I have a, there's a Spotify thing. now. That guy makes music with telephone switches, you guys. He's the best. But the Spotify, that, that, they, I've had some stuff get pulled down now. I don't know if someone's out there yanking them down or touching on them. And, like, it's all, they're not it's all Joe Rogan's fault. See whatever they're or doing. Neil Young. Or, I don't know, should I keep leaving that music in, leave it out, cut it out? I've been cutting it out lately, cutting the music out. Should I leave it in? I don't know. Uh, leave it in. Arby gets away with everything, so I don't know. Yeah. All right, bye. My fear about leaving music in, especially on a platform like Patreon, this one isn't going on Patreon, but it used to, and your shows go on Patreon, so I'll tell you what my fear is. It's that Patreon is going to get the content ID system set up eventually, just like YouTube has and Twitch and everyone else, and someday I'm going to get an email that says, hey Brad, it looks like you're using a thousand or so copyrighted songs 
on our platform and selling them for money. We're gonna need you to take all of those down. So I try my best not to use copyrighted stuff on the hobo sodes since those have to go on Patreon and Spotify. But also someday I'm just gonna get a bunch of legal notices about my websites. They're gonna be like, hey Brad, every single website you own has tons of copyrighted music all over it. You better take all that down real quick. If you could just edit all 1,000 of those shows for us that have copyrighted things in them and take the copyrighted things out, that'd be great. Thanks, Brad. That's what's gonna happen. I can't wait for that to happen. That's gonna be the day that I just take down all my old stuff, and throw it away. Hey, Brad. Who, who needs um, it? I was curious. You were talking about your asterisk system in your last show, messing up. About a what? Um, any chance you could go over? Uh, how to how your setup works? Um, I, I have Asterix installed on my PC, and I have it connected to a soft phone. But I'm not yeah. sure how to actually change my caller ID. And I was hoping to get a uh, show going or something, or do do something with it. Just harass people. I don't know. Yeah. Not harass people, but you know sure. what I'm uh, people. Uh, I'm not going to help you harass people. You good. Uh, just let me know on the show. Thanks, man. But. Yeah, my asterisk system, it kept shutting down every single night. Every morning, I'd get up and all my phones would be blinking because they can't connect to anything. And I think it's because it's been below freezing here lately. And my asterisk system was in the garage next to the big garage door, which has a bunch of crazy draft coming through it, probably freezing up the hard drive or something. It's working great, though, since I moved it inside. It hasn't crashed once, so that's nice. Uh, anyway, I can't teach you how to use asterisks in the voicemails section, but if you have any questions, you could email me or you could Google it. That's what I always do. I don't know how to use anything. I just Google stuff all the time. But I'd have to ask you all these questions like, what carrier are you using to make the phone calls with? And how do you have it all hooked up? And I don't know, email me or something. Oh, and also go to phonelosers.com slash FAQ. I think that's where I have the studio tours at. And you can see the asterisk system and how it's set up, kind of. Or how it used to be set up. Hey, Brad. It's Olga. Holy shit. And I have a joke for you. Of course you do. What happens when you fall asleep on a smartphone? I don't know. You download a nap. Oh, wow. That was great. Okay, bye. I really like that one. Thanks, Olga. Best phone joke ever. I miss your phone jokes. Brad. 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 Buddy, no, I don't hate you. I called you those last voicemail. No, I don't hate you. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Who are you? It shows bad, and why the frig did I say sparing? I don't swear. God's great. Oh, I remember um, the word sparing. I remember giving you shit about that. Um, I did want to give you a rundown, though, just to boost your confidence of uh, power ranking uh, of prank callers. What? You power? are so <laughs> number one, buddy. Okay. Still number one, and you want to know something better? I like it better when you're giving me shit about my shows and saying my shows are sparing lately. He has underneath you, because I can never get to his content, so that's why he gets held back, and that's why you're in first place. Who? Wait, um, who? What? Yeah, Who's underneath me? One, and you want to know something better? G has underneath you, because ah, I can never get to his content. Fuck you, G ad! So that's why he gets held back, and that's why you're in first place. Okay. Um, but the other guys, the janitor dude, no, not good. But that one guy who goes, uh... Yeah, but you said I wasn't good in the last show, so can we really trust your opinion? And it looks like you're just gonna make fun of a bunch of other shows now, so... I'm gonna turn this voicemail off. Nice try, I'm not gonna play the rest of this. Hey, Brad. The minute long. Brad, from the 336. Uh, you said hey, you wanted, Brad. uh, more voicemails, well, here's another voicemail. Oh, no, dude, you, I gotta say, you misunderstood. The two-week hiatus... I said don't flush. ...scared me. You know, in a couple of days, okay, no new uh, things, but another yeah. week, and then uh, eight days, nine days, ten days. I was basically dead for a little while. You scared the hell out of us, man. Uh, anyway, glad like to a hear Schrodinger's you cat. Thing. And uh, also calling from 336, like I said, yeah. uh, we have three weeks. Everybody's from that area, if you believe Crimson. Now of every weekend of snow. It's got to be a new record for North Carolina. I've heard. Anyway. Uh, the best part of leaving a voicemail on your show is I don't ever remember it until I hear it again. Oh, shit. Thanks, sir. I'm glad you're using my show to keep the dementia away. <laughs> All right, that's a two-minute-long voicemail. And I'm going to guess that the entire thing is that. Sorry, Brad. Uh, Roy. Why are you sorry? Terrible, uh, 
fucking sensation. Are you sorry because you left four voicemails in a row? One right after the other? Doug, wherever you are, I don't know. You're fucking amazing. And I had to pull over Thanks. just so I can really talk because I was driving. You know, you're not supposed to be driving while on the phone, of course. Let me mm. speed this process up because I know it's only 30 seconds. Dirt. I done sent you so many messages. You never put me on your fucking podcast. Please, can I get on there one time? What? I listen to it every time. I'm hoping I play all the voicemails. Well, not all the voicemails. I'm going to delete these other three of yours just to teach you a lesson about leaving a bunch of voicemails in a row. And my voice. Motherfucker. Let me hear it. Hopefully this time I can hear it. I don't know. It might have 30 seconds. Anyways, you're the fucking goat. If you don't know what goat Ooh. means, it means greatest of all time. I'm a goat, Bobby everybody. Arlito, for sure. Fall losers! But we fucking winner. Yeah. Bitch! All right. And I'm a... Um, Thanks for this. Yeah. I'm a fan. And it's I'm a... Best. I'm... I'm you're going to hear a lot from me, bro. Oh, no. As soon as I figure out how to fucking spend some money on your ass, you're going to hear a lot from me. Great. I need the Patreon ASAP. All right. Adi I think that was the end. He said adios. And here, let's just listen to a bit of the very last voicemail he left. Shitbradsays.com. Shitbradsays. You wanted me to play all of these, really? You left me all these voicemails? Don't send me four rambly voicemails. Just send me one good one. That's only 30 seconds. But I was nice enough to play your minute-long voicemail, almost all of it. Hello, Bradley. You know who it is. It's me, Debra. <laughs> uh, hey, Brad, I, I don't want to know. Have you ever actually gotten mad while you were the one prank-calling someone else? Because it's like I've tried to... Don't I get asked that a lot? I feel like I've been asked that a lot lately. Well, like, obviously, I'm not as good as... Maybe kid. I just sound mad. It was you. But you know, I don't know why, but sometimes I actually get irritated when I'm the one being a jerk. So I was wondering... So we've done all those calls. Oh, you are the master. Have you ever actually got a little ticked off? So my time's up. Have a good day. Bye. Good job. Only 28 seconds. He only left one voicemail. Thanks for that. And no, I don't actually get mad about prank calls. I get a little, uh, I don't know. What would be the word? Like when somebody realizes that it's a prank and then they just want to play along with me and they're like, ah, ha, ha, you're so funny at this prank call stuff. I get just a little bit annoyed that they're not reacting properly and getting very angry with me. Because that's bullshit. They're supposed to be getting angry. But actually mad? Come on. Why would I get mad? That's silly. And oh my god, I've been doing voicemails for 30 minutes now. That is way too long of a voicemail segment. I'm sure it's going to get cut way down. Hopefully. I was kind of wanting to do all of the January voicemails, but there's a good 15 or 20 left. So I'm just going to end it right there. Oh wait, no. I'm going to end it after I play this voicemail. This is something that came to uh, one of my regular phone numbers recently. I thought this was funny. Hi Roy, my name is Chad. Um, you just recently called my wife Sharice and uh, she was in the shower and I answered her phone thinking it was mine and then quickly hung up knowing it was probably work related. And then on your second attempt she was still in the shower. Um, so I apologize for how that may have looked. Um, the <laughs> second point would be I, I hope that you'll be calling back soon to apologize to her. Uh, I, I, you know, I know that you probably don't speak to I hope you don't speak to other people that way, but certainly that's not the way that, you know... He's all breathing heavy and stuff. ...that relationship needs to um, be handled. So I'll look forward to hearing from her on how that goes. Uh, good <laughs> luck with whatever you're trying to figure out. Thanks. I have no idea what this is about. I think it's on a day when I was calling a lot of landlords for one of my shows. That voicemail is from seven days ago. I just found it in my email a couple days ago. And I'm not going to call him back or anything. I don't know what happened with that call. Maybe I just left her a crazy voicemail. Or maybe he was picking up and hanging up. So I gave him a bunch of shit. It's basically his fault. But anyway, I think I'm done. Thank you to the sponsors of today's show. Rev, Brennan, Omni, Gobi, and Plaz. Don't forget to look in the show notes and click on all the things that were talked about in this show. Like Nick Caesar's amazing artwork and the other shows that I was on. All right, that's it. Bye, everybody. See you next time. I get lost in the deep space stars and call for directions on prepaid cards. I don't. I got a boyfriend. I don't look at nobody like you're, you're accusing me of. What the fuck? You're